Hey, what's up all my Gemini people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal, all right? Just felt like that needed to be adjusted. Okay, so this is for anybody. Oh, you know what? I missed something in the Taurus reading. Okay, I didn't pull some of these cards, but they'll be all right, okay? But they got a, they got a, a deep enough reading. So you got Taurus in the chart, okay? Or are you a Taurus Gemini customer? Definitely go check their video out. So this is for any, anybody with Gemini placements in the chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readers that I can advice you to take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. So any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. Okay, so the moon and the sun is here. I'm going, I already took these out of the deck, right? I'm using the Egyptian tarot deck. This is a juicy details reading, okay? So we're gonna look at what is hidden will be revealed, okay? And I'm gonna actually take the rest of the deck and pull one for the overall energy. And so let's get started, okay? What's hidden will be revealed. What's going on for my Gemini's? All right. Ooh, the devil. Okay, if you do have Taurus in your chart, or if you're dealing with the Taurus, hair font on the bottom, go check it out, okay? Because they actually pulled the high priestess, but the devil was at the bottom. You guys are actually pulling the devil, and the hair font, Taurus energy, is at the bottom. So Capricorn and Taurus. Ooh. So I'm also getting that something is happening in a certain order because Hierophant is number five, where the devil is number 15, and that breaks down to six. So five and six. So the lovers, that's your energy too, Gemini. So I feel like somebody is getting on your bad side, Gemini. Because have you ever looked at the lover's card and the devil card side by side? They're like the same exact depiction, only, you know, instead of... Um, an angel, like over the lover's card, is the devil. You get what I'm saying? But both are them. Just just look at them next time that you see them. To me, they have like a somewhat of a similar depiction. Okay. Um, but this could be a Capricorn or Taurus. This could be um, somebody with an addiction. That's something I also picked up too. Capricorn, you know, the devil represents uh, habits, addictions, temptations. I'm here on fighting temptations. Okay. Give me three placements. Okay, we have the sun, Leo energy, Capricorn. I use. Well, this Capricorn is. Stepping on some toes. Okay, 10th house, Capricorn energy again. 10th house, the world. Okay, I uh, also get like somebody is uh, about, is very popular or something with the sun, the Capricorn, 10th house, the world. I also feel like somebody could be like getting, like somebody could be famous or somebody could be getting famous or like on the brink, but this could, somebody could already be established. This could be like a spiritual leader or somebody from like a, a, some spirituality. But with this grand cross provoker energy here, I'm not really sure. I feel like somebody is being triggered. So somebody, sun, moon. I'm also hearing rising. So sun, moon, rising could be in Capricorn, Leo, Taurus. Or, of course, Gemini. Let's get to the bottom of it. What is actually being hidden from you? I'm hearing something like the world knew before you. What's the moon? The fool and then the queen of cups is in reverse. So this is Gemini cancer energy here, if you can look at the bottom. So somebody might be a Gemini Cancer. You might be a Gemini Cancer Cusper. But I'm also feeling like somebody is like, um, I'm here. I'm hearing uh, jealous, 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 jealous ass bitch. 
Because sometimes that's what the Queen of Cups in reverse can be to me. Really jealous. Three of Cups. Ooh, witches. Your friends. Or one friend. Cancer energy. Could be a cancer. Could be somebody that's a cancer Gemini cusper. Or Aries. On it. On these cards, fail. Let's clarify the fool. Okay, the Aries energy. So we got the Page of Swords in reverse, and then Aries, the Emperor, the Six. And Scorpio energy at the bottom, death card. Scorpio being in, everybody read it. I'm not going to lie. They were in uh, Sagittarius earlier. <laughs> the first read I did, they were in, of course, Taurus. They was in there real heavy. And then they're, they're showing up here again. And so was Aries. I'm hearing somebody is literally trying to start, a, like something happens, it's a new beginning for somebody, very bright energy. So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you do have some really good things coming your way. I feel like there could be some up and down energy here. It could be like uh, maybe some bad news in there too. Um, that's coming your way. But overall with the emperor energy, I feel like you guys are really elevating or bossing up i feel like you guys may be glowing up like some of you guys could be you know getting work done like you're getting your nails done you like you looking real good okay you like yeah nah like i really need you know i feel like maybe you guys are also getting um the resources in in order to do that Again, somebody's blowing up or glowing up. What's the Queen of Cups? Maybe that's why this Queen of Cups is jealous. The Knight of Cups. The Justice is in reverse. I don't know what's up with this air sign, though. This is Libra energy twice, and they're both in reverse. So somebody could also be going through, like, something legal. They could be going through some legal issues. Or somebody could be trying to take you down. Three of Cups here with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to get one more. And the Two of Wands in reverse. Sagittarius, I mean, uh, Aries again. If you look at the bottom and then Capricorn again. Both in reverse. So I feel like, dang, so, okay, for, so for some of you guys, this Capricorn or this Aries could have been telling you, like, this person is not your friend, or you could have been gotten warnings about this person. Somebody, some of you guys need to be careful because somebody is, like, either spiking somebody's stuff. I don't know if you can see her sprinkling shit in there. I know, of course, I know she, it's a witch, right? Um, but I feel like somebody could be spiking somebody's drink. Yeah, ten of cups in reverse. Somebody's drunk as fuck. Or somebody is like all over the place emotionally. Let's see. I'm going to clear this and put it together. Definitely your friends, though. When I put them together, three of cups still at the bottom. Something going on with your friends that you don't know about, but you will. And it will be televised or something on a large scale. I really feel like this makes you look, get deeper into your spirituality or you stay for a second. You're like, man, look, y'all motherfuckers out here being the devil. I I ain't got time for that. You know, I'm Gemini. I'm the lover, okay? Um, King of Cups. Yeah, I'm the lover. I, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Let's, let's get out of here. What's the... Uh, 
I mean, I'll fight you, but I'm a lover, not a fighter. Okay, what's, what's the Knight of Wands in reverse? And this Knight of Wands, I think, has been in reverse, has been everybody's reading. Sagittarius, Taurus, now you. Because I feel like somebody's trying to throw a stone and, you know, turn their back like they didn't do it. Or somebody's trying, yeah, like they like, I didn't do that. I didn't say that. I didn't mean that. You took what I said out of context. And somebody feel like somebody's getting defensive. They're getting mad for pinnacles this year. Capricorn again. Scorpio energy here twice. Let me get the king. Let's clarify the king of cups. You got the Four of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Four of Wands in reverse also showed up for both of these readings. So, the the truth is, I really do feel like that's another thing that you're going to be getting. You're going to see who's really, like, really, really, you might be even surprised at the person who steps up to um, either, you know, go to battle for you or the person that steps up and uh, fights for you. And I feel like you can fight your own battles here because this is uh, the uh, this is the Knight of Pentacles, but with the sword energy here. And I feel like you still can, you know, fight your own battles. But whatever, whatever this energy is, I really truly feel and believe that somebody is fighting for you, is on your side versus somebody is just not, does not have your best interest at heart. Give me one more for the four of wands in reverse. The page of cups. Okay, Cancer Energy. I feel like whatever this is gonna have y'all ass at the house. You like, look, I ain't going outside. Y'all doing too much. What's the Knight of Wands in reverse? Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody been telling you about this person. Give me one more. The Six of Pentacles. Gemini, Gemini, I think that, let me say this because I think I said it in your last reading if you watched last reading, okay, uh, which is your ancestor reading. Sometimes your loyalty can get the best of you. You are very, very, very loyal. You are. That's a great trait. But at the same time, I feel like you staying kind of puts you in a certain line of fire. And that's the line, of, the line of fire from this Knight of Wands. Coming straight towards you. Even in the sun. Like, I feel like, so somebody is so bright, you can't help but to notice. Right? You can't, you can't overlook it. What's the Four of Pentacles? The Two of Cups. But interesting enough, it's a Capricorn. It's a Unicorn. Let me get the other card that fell. And then the Ten of Wands. I'm here, whoo, whoo, like a dungeon dragon. Okay, it's interesting because she is a Sagittarius. That's Sagittarius energy. Okay, and then the world again. You got the world twice. And, it's, and look, eerily, it's kind of still the same shape. Like the infinity symbols, like an eight, right? Up here and up here, two circles. I almost feel like you'll separate. This is like the end of a phase. I feel like you're separating yourself from certain people. And when you do that, this could be new love coming in, new friends coming in. I feel like somebody has their nails painted like red. 
I'm hearing whole red. That's what my that's what my nail tech call it, whole red. Look at the dragon's nails. Now it could be blood, right? But their nails on their hands and their nails on their toes are red. Uh, this could be somebody's favorite color. But whatever this is, it, it, it's going to be over, I feel like. But I feel like it's kind of like you get a hard kind of lesson here. Especially because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, right? So uh, I really feel like you get this. this Capricorn it came up like three times. You know, the devil here, Capricorn in 10th house, that's three times. So a Capricorn or something has tells you over and over and over again. And like, look. Or this could be somebody with this heavy Capricorn heavy in the chart. It could be a Leo. It could be anybody. It could be one of your close friends. It could be anybody. It could be your preacher, your pastor. Pastor been telling your ass. He ain't tell you like that, but he told your ass. Like, you know, this person ain't no good now. Because the whole world know. The whole congregation know. It's like the world knows, but you're kind of like, no, come on, Gemini. You smart. You wanted to, like, that's what air signs are for right you're smart you're intelligent right gemini represents i think like you think outside the box now sometimes you might overthink you get what i'm saying but that's a gift let's get some for the, the moon let's get three of these recent past you are not crazy you saw what you saw yes you did so even in your recent past you're like man this shit this like maybe I'm tripping. No, you're not. They are doing what they're doing. You, they are who they are. It is what it is. Like if it look like a duck, walk like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a fucking duck. Like you can't miss the duck. You have number nine. It's still hermit energy. So Capricorn towards Virgo. This could be in, in regards to your work, your career. To be a co-worker in nine ninety nine in in so I feel like you got two signs back to back Gemini and they gave it to you in two different forms they was like okay you didn't get the number I got you you didn't, you didn't see the angel number or you, you didn't see the synchronicity? Okay, well, I'm going to send you another synchronicity. Another sign. Because I feel like they're coming back in. Nine and in. in nine starts with in, right? Like I, I actually spelled it out on the card. N-I-N-E. Another nine. So another time. So you've seen this in the past before. N9. What's the sun? You have the 90s energy. Okay, so that's my rat beef. This is I didn't know till I made this deck that Tupac and Biggie were both Gemini's. So that was different for me. And then you have time energy. So California here, West Coast. Some of you guys could be from there or you could be planning on visiting there. And time, it says time heals. Time is inevitable. Time expires. Time is valuable. Time continues. Time is everything. Then you have W. And at the bottom, you have the spring. Okay, so this is the course. It's your energy um Aries, Taurus, and uh Gemini. So 328, 513, 13, 13, 333, three, three, and 505, 15, 15. That's that the devil number 15. Capricorn energy. Okay. So the spring, so W N N W. So I'm hearing NWA. So again, I think that's West Coast too. So ninjas with attitude. Yeah, because I'm hearing like fuck the police. 
Okay, of course, witches, we already seen that witch coming out too. So somebody could be, you know, conjuring up some shit. Always doing some shit. But um, I'm hearing the WNBA. So this could be a woman, an athletic woman, or she's athletically built. She could be tall. Or this could be a, a tall, slender man. But I'm getting woman. And I'm also hearing win. Okay. Let me pull you guys uh, one of these and we're going to get on up out of here. Dang, these really kind of drain my energy. I didn't expect that. Oh, that's two. But I'm not gonna take them. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna put them back. It says make the sacrifice and stay strong. Okay, I'm just gonna get one. Become a shape shift. Become a shape shifter. Okay, and then at the bottom it says make the sacrifice. Where's the little book? You know how some shit sitting dead in your face? Oh, see, I told you. So become a shapeshifter. Let's see what this is and we'll get you guys out of here. The Kitson is a shapeshifter and that is spelled K-I-T-S-U-N-E. I'm not sure. A Kitson is a shapeshifter a mythical fox that can take on human form. At this time, a shapeshifter is what you need to become. All too often, we restrict and limit ourselves and limit ourselves by embracing rigid labels, definition, and ideas of who we are and who we are meant to be. From one moment to the next, you are always the person you are meant to be. But if you open yourself to growth, you can become more. Like the kitsune, the more tails you have, the more powerful and wise you become, okay? Ooh, you little sly fox, you getting out of Dodge, okay? Getting out of the way. But also, I feel like somebody else has been a shapeshifter, right? They have been changing into uh, everything that you wanted them to be, right? So, and that's just so they can keep their their secrets. They can keep their identity and their true intentions concealed. Okay. All right, you guys. So please let me know what you think, Gemini. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know. I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla to play when you see me in Street Pimp. Bye.